17-year-old Alexander Kabugi is being vaccinated for MPOX as part of a phase two safety trial testing a vaccine to prevent MPOX in adolescents. He's getting the same vaccine that the FDA approved for adults at high risk for infection. It's a vaccine that's directed against what we call orthopox viruses. And the two main ones that people would know about, one used to be called monkeypox, and now we call it mpox. Um, and the other one is smallpox. An outbreak of mpox in 2022 affected more than 30,000 people and caused 38 deaths in the U.S. While the risk of adolescents getting infected is currently low, that could change in the event of another outbreak. During the outbreak, both people who had intimate contact with others with mpox and those who had household contact with mpox became infected. So that was where the risk was for teenagers and for children was either through intimate and sexual contact for the older ones or through household contact in the younger ones. If approved, the vaccine would not be part of the standard vaccine schedule. It would be used to prevent or treat those who may be at risk. So the thought will be that if there is another outbreak, that we can give this vaccine either as what we call pre-exposure prophylaxis or more commonly post-exposure prophylaxis. And by that we mean you're in contact with someone who has mpox, then you can get the vaccine and prevent yourself from getting it. Alexander's mom is glad her son is getting that protection now. Something that's spreading the way monkeypox was spreading, um, I'd want him to have some protection. I mean, that's why I vaccinate him for everything, so that he's protected. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.